Hi guys, welcome to Concise Reviews. This is the third video in my series on budget smart home devices for the Google Home. And today I'm going to be comparing the Philips Hue light against the Lombex Wi-Fi smart bulb and the Xiaomi Yi light and see if the Philips Hue is really worth paying the extra money for. Okay, I'm going to try and keep this video fairly punchy, but the main things I'm going to go over are price, compare the features, show you how easy they are to set up, have a look at the Google Home integration, test the colour and brightness, and then summarise at the end. So if we start with the Philips Hue, the price for a bulb is about £38 each, but to get it to work, you do also need to buy a Philips Hue bridge, which is going to set you back about £50 at the moment. There are some starter sets where you can save a bit of money if you buy three bulbs at once or something, but obviously that's quite expensive. That's £88 just to get one bulb working. The Lombex bulb is much cheaper. It's £17 at the moment from Amazon, and you don't need a bridge to get that working because it's just it works directly off your Wi-Fi. And the same is the case with the Xiaomi Yi light, which is actually only £13, but to get it for that price, you do need to get it shipped in from the Far East, so it's going to take a little while to arrive. In terms of features and specs, all of these bulbs advertise on their web pages that they run at 9 watts and can output up to 16 million colours. The Philips is available in both a bayonet fitting and a screw fitting. The Lombex bulb only comes in a bayonet fitting and the Yi light only comes in a screw fitting. So if that doesn't match up what you've got in your house, you're going to have to get an adapter. I've got one here to test the Yi light with so it converts it to a bayonet fitting that's what I've got in my house. Setting up the Hue lights is really simple you just need to download the app from Google Play, register or sign in if you haven't done already and then you just need to press the pairing button on the Hue bridge so you need to make sure the bridge and all the light bulbs are plugged in. You might need to do an update the first time you put it in but that's really straightforward and then it's very simple to pair the lights. Once you've done that you can control the lights, turn them on and off, set timers and then also change the colors from within the app. So. It's all very straightforward and very simple to do. Now the app that I'd use with the Lombex bulb is actually called Smart Life. In the instructions it says use the Lombex app, but I'll tell you why I use Smart Life in just a bit. So get that again for free off the Google Play Store. Register or log in if you haven't already got details. So I'll just do this off screen. And then once you're in, it will show any lights that you have paired with it already or any devices. If you want to add a new one, just click the plus and click lighting device. And if you plug in your bulb straight out the box, it should uh, flash quickly, which means it's ready for pairing in normal mode. Now this will only work this way if your Wi-Fi network is 2.4 gigahertz. So if that's the case, just push connect, put in your Wi-Fi password, and then you can see there's the warning that it will only work with a 2.4 gigahertz network. I don't have that so if you push continue it will try to connect and then it will come up with a failed error message. So if your Wi-Fi network is 5 GHz what you need to do is at the wall turn the light bulb on and off 10 times with about a second gap in between and then it will start to flash slowly like this. And Once you've got it flashing slowly that means it's in automatic pairing mode so just push AP mode in the top right, confirm that it's flashing slowly Again, put in your Wi-Fi password when it asks you to. Click continue. And then what you have to now do is basically connect to the bulb's own Wi-Fi network. So you go into your list of available Wi-Fi networks, find the one called Smart Life, click to connect, push connect. And then that will connect to the Wi-Fi network and then push back to go back into the app and it will start the pairing process and this is pretty quick it gets to about 15% and then it just whizzes through and then there you can see that's the light bulb I called it middle light that was just the test name that I gave it last time I set it up you can change the name if you want or you could just change it in Google Home and then within the Smart Life app you can turn it on and off but we'll be using Google Home to control it mostly. Okay the Xiaomi Yi light is a little bit more clunky you have to put an adapter on it if you've got a bayonet fitting the My Home app is the one you need to install and it's not compatible with my tablet which is a bit annoying so I'll have to use this old Sony Xperia phone uh, to show you how the app is used. Um, once it's installed just open the app and then you have to agree to some initial terms and conditions. So just click OK and then you need to choose your region. Now you need to choose Singapore for this to work with Google Home. I don't know why but that's just what you need to do. Then you are going to need to register or log in if you already have details, so I'll do this off screen. 
The actual connection is quite simple, it works by pairing with the bulb over Bluetooth and then connecting it to your phone's Wi-Fi signal, but it only works if your router is a 2.4 GHz signal, so if that is not the case and it's 5 GB, you need to go into your router settings and change it to a 2.4 GHz network just for the setup, and then you can change it back to 5. Ok, now to pair it with Google Home, just open the Google Home app, push the menu button in the top right and click Home Control and then this will list all the accounts that you've got associated, so Google Assistant, Philips Hue, Smart Life etc, that's all the ones I've got at the moment. If you want to add a new one, whether it's Yee Light or Smart Life or Philips Hue, you just click this plus button in the bottom corner and then you scroll down to whichever one you want. I've already got a Smart Life link so I'll unlink that now just so I can show you how to link it. That just takes a couple of seconds and then to re-add it you just find it in the list, so there's Smart Life open it up in Google Chrome here you will need to log in so I'll cover this up and do it off screen and then you can see I've got Smart Life, Lombex and eFamily Cloud this is why you need to use Smart Life because if you use another third party one you can only actually pair one of those with Google Home so best to do it all through Smart Life and then you just click authorize and it will load for a minute and then it will add it to your Google Home you can then assign different devices to rooms, so we'll assign this light to the living room and then you're done, it should be good to go. So we'll actually test these now, the first one is the Philips Hue. Turn on the living room light. Sure, turning four lights on. Make the living room green. Alright, changing four lights to green. Dim the living room to 30%. Sure, setting four lights brightness to 30%. Turn on the living room light. Alright, turning on four lights. Make the living room green. Alright, changing four lights to green. Dim the living room light to 30%. Sure, setting four lights brightness to 30%. Okay, that's very similar to the Philips Hue. Maybe it's just not quite as bright on the colours. On the living room light. Now we'll try the Xiaomi Yi light. Sure, turning three lights on. I'm afraid there was an error and I'm unable to control your home device. Okay, that's not a good start. Turn on the living room light. OK, turning on four lights. Make the living room green. All right, changing four lights to green. Dim the living room to 30%. OK, setting four lights brightness to 30%. OK, again, very similar to the other two, it's just disappointing that it didn't respond to that initial voice command. OK, so now I've got to summarise and choose which smart bulb is best for me. I think I'm going to have to exclude the Yi light straight away, and that's because to get it for a decent price you have to get it from the Far East, which takes quite a while to arrive. Also, for my sockets I need this adapter, which makes it hang down quite low, so it's quite bright because it hangs below the lampshade. Um, it was also the most difficult to set up with Google Home, that took quite a while and as you saw with the demos it didn't always respond to my voice commands so get rid of the Yee light. Uh, the Philips Hue, although this was probably the easiest to set up, the price is just too much compared to what else is on the market so for just one bulb you need to also get the bridge so you're looking at about £88 for the Philips Hue so unfortunately we'll get rid of that one. And for me, the clear winner is the Lombex Wi-Fi Smart Bulb. It was real easy to get set up. It's only £17 on Amazon, and I think there's promotions from time to time, so you can get it cheaper. Performs perfectly with Google Home, and the brightness is, for me, just as good as the Philips Hue. So for me, the clear winner is the Lombex Wi-Fi Smart Bulb. Hope this has been helpful. If it has, please like and subscribe for more from Concise Reviews.